Hey everyone, and welcome back to Risk of Rain. Today, I want to play the Commando with just glass, the same as we just did with the Huntress last time, because that seems really fun. I had a ton of fun playing just glass last run, so I, uh, I want to do it again, but with a different character. And with a character that can totally shred stuff really hard. It was like, watch this. Yeah, watch. Uh, you, you saw it happen. Probably won't do this very much, though, because, um... I can see gl glass getting really boring really quickly. So, just another episode with it right now, and uh, then we are probably pretty good. So I know it worked out really well for me last time. Um, in... Oh, alright. That's worrisome. Wow, I have 36 health? That's insane. And then I don't. Oh my god, I should have died there, to be honest. Will the Wisp to start off, though, that's pretty crazy. Well, it's definitely better than what I had, but that's still bad. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. Minefield is not bad. But it's not what I want. That's what I should say. I have so much health. What do I do with all this health? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. But FMJ is an insanely good skill with glass. 500% damage is just too much with that. Okay, crit's healing. Not what I'm looking for, but it, uh, you know, it confers more crit chance, I believe, even on the first one, so it's good enough. And it's always nice for later, but I think that what's going to shine for us so far is the, uh... The... Will-O-The-Wisp? For a chance to blow enemies up when we kill them. That's a big deal. So I'm making good time, but since I didn't farm like I did in the last episode... I'm not having a good time for loot, basically. There's probably not going to be much of it here for me. Wow, that crit, though. Oh, so strong. So strong. Seems that everything is basically dead. I thought you should have died earlier if you're the enemy. I think you were. 119, though, I'll explore. See if I can get anything good. Uh, all right. See if we can get maybe a fifty chest. Nah, I need I need white items probably. Got a couple greens that are good. I mean, I don't have either of the two really important ones for this, but I think that I'm only playing that once because I'm going on the hunt. Oh my god, these use items. Alright, that's all you get. That's something. Gasoline's also something good. Puts the ground... Sets the ground alight. Should we uh, manage to kill an enemy, which I think we should. I'm not going to go for drones right now, which I think is probably the wrong play, just a thought. But let's grab this and then be on our way. Ukulele, that's really good when you have uh, FMJ activate with it. So, sets the ground on fire when we kill an enemy, damages enemies that walk on it, obviously. First aid kit makes it so that when we get hit after four seconds, I believe. Also, I'm going to sneeze, I think. Maybe. Coming. It's happening. <coughs> Excuse me. After four seconds, we get ten health back. I think it's ten health. And, uh... Then the predatory instincts makes it so that when we crit, we gain attack speed for a few seconds, and it'll stack up to three times. And then the ukulele, when we uh, 
hidden enemy, we have a chance to electrocute things nearby. That, like, nearby that enemy. Pretty hot. Alright, five minutes flat. It's slow for glass, but it's good. Like, it's plenty good enough for normal things. Okay, really quick teleporter, and that's good because this level rarely has loot on it. Alright, that's annoying. Uh, alright. Put that down. Completely destroy everything. Get the repulsion armor. Have happy days. Repulsion armor is really good. When we take uh, damage six times. We become very resilient. 83% of damage is blocked and reflected back at enemies, so they take all of that, and it's wondrous. Hmm. I think we go build crit right now. I think that's what we do. Any other loot up here? I would have expected not. Don't know why I really checked instead of going down where I knew there was loot. Okay, um... Dang it. This could have easily killed me, but fortunately, FMJ is FMJ. Oh, so good. More gasoline, why not, but also please no. Not what I need. Okay, there's a 170 there, that's awesome. Okay, let's not do this game. So many freaking children. If I can keep my experience up and keep keep ahead of the curve, then FMJ will keep being an incredibly OP, which is pretty much all I can ask for. Grab the 170. All right, higher jump, excellent. Higher jump, less gravity, no less. Then let's check the top left. We're doing really well for money considering that we're ahead of time. So I like that. Alright, come on. Let's get out of here. Four enemies left that won't be a problem. We're one hit away from repulsion armor, but that's still way too risky. Because I'll still take a lot of damage in using it to block things. It's just nice to have reduction if I'm trying to get away. Healing drone, now that's an interesting offer. I think I'm gonna pass for no good reason, cause I should take it, cause I'm gonna have extra money and there's gonna be no reason not to have it. That counts as damage, darn. Come on. But, yeah, I'm not gonna take it. Inadvisable as it is. Yeah, yeah, jellyfish, I know, any day now. Yeah, that was uh, definitely an air shot there. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. Ah, uh, three enemies, and some of them are really annoying because they're over the, over the way here. Boom. And then these two. That somehow got down here, I don't know. I don't even know, but I don't like it. That rusty jetpack gives me so much reduced gravity and so like so much jump. It's quite good. Alrighty, let's get on out of here. Ancient Valley. Alright, haven't gotten this in a while. What I'm hoping is this is the full bridge version. And that the teleporter is on the full bridge. I think it is. Oh, that hurt. Wow, you are... You are a mean one. Alright, full bridge, gimme. And then I can just kind of FMJ my way through life. Dang. Bad, bad luck. Alright then, we'll check the top, not for Boar Beach, but for the teleporter, because that does happen. After we check the left, because that also does happen. That's not bad, but... This is going to be a level that's heavy on loot. Almost always. 
But maybe not right now. We shall have to see. Oh man, we're not scaling well as, as well as I'd like to be. We'll see. Need some syringes, among other things. Okay, can afford that. Toxic centipede, not bad. If we uh, happen to touch an enemy, that little green ring that's poison around us will uh, poison them, do some nice damage over time. Oh, dear goodness. Dear goodness, golly gracious. Okay. Yeah, this would be a time where a use item better than the minefield would be really awesome. Ah! Right, let's just place that down. Get some of that dealt with. Monster Tooth would be awesome. Clayman, please. Clayman, please. Goat Hoof, amazing. Syringe, amazing. I need that healing. That healing. Imp. Ifrit, actually really awesome because it's super duper easy. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Alright. Amazing if he doesn't troll you horribly. And I think that he's going to be up top. Which is not, not good. Because that means it can keep trolling me here. Which means that I may as well keep fighting here, but I don't want to. Alright. You knock it off. Because it sees me when I'm up there. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's the other location it likes to spawn. Which is much, much less bad than up top for me, especially right now. Ooh, ATG mar Missile Mark II. Oh my. When I hit an enemy, there's a chance that I launch a bunch of missiles. Slowing enemies on attack is not bad, but I was really hoping that I'd get the other one that was offered to me. I might invest in drones relatively soon. Who knows? Ah. Oh no. That's like the scariest thing. Bighorn bison. I think that like the challenge should be um, glass, kin, and honor, but nothing else. All right, monster tooth. I'm really happy with. I was gonna go for the clover, but I'm really I'm happier with how that turned out. Yeah, I'm thinking glass, kin, and honor. You get a big horn bison level, and you cry immediately. All right, one bit of crit. Ah, oh, dang. All right, there are just two enemies left. Ow, don't die to them. There are three enemies left too. Game, why you lie to me? Monster Tooth is 10 healing on kill though. Pretty nice. <sighs> okay, you know, I'm probably respawning at 40% health and invincible for a little while from that red item. Not as exciting. All right, let's get out of here. Life savings means I gain money over time. This one's a little a little more sparse in items than uh, the Huntress one was. Oh my. I'm a little worried. A little worried. But this is that that makes this fun because we don't have a guardian's heart or an infusion or anything. Oh, we're dead. Unless we get really lucky and don't get a um, cremator. But why would I expect that kind of luck? All right, let's hope that it's over here. First check because it's close, which means it shouldn't really be possible. Oh, hello. Be awesome if we had a wicked ring. Always would be awesome if we had a wicked ring. So, pretty much a pointless statement to make. 
Do we have both? Yeah, we do have both ATG missiles. That's cool. I believe that Mark 1 does more damage, but uh, Mark 2 just shoots more missiles and does more damage overall. Oh, freaking butts. Uh, well... That's probably GG. Once we get something godly here. That's actually really good. Shocks nearby enemies, and that can do significant damage. Oh my. Oh my no. Cremator needs to die. Oh god. Well, this might be the most intense fight I've had in a while. Sadly, my use item is garbage tier for what I need to deal with right now. Uh, uh. Okay, uh, let's back off real quick. Do some quick shooting. If I can deal with a cremator while um, things are still happening, that's awesome. Reason being that I can get healing from uh, enemies that I kill. Bustling Fungus is really nice, so we did deal with the Cremator successfully. Not to say we've dealt with the level successfully, but that is most of my worry whenever I get a Cremator level. Or whenever I get Magma Barracks. Like, do I get a Cremator, do I die because of it? Usually the answer is yes, and the answer to the secondary question is yes as well. Today I was uh, not so unfortunate. Oh my. But if I let the birds, like, at me for even a second, that could be GG. I need to be a little more careful with that. Knocking enemies back is not what I want. Like, it, it's not the item that makes a big difference. Charge feels really good, though. Because that'll do bunches of damage. Okay. You guys are welcome to charge at me. Last enemies should just, like, exist in this plane of existence. All right, that could have gone much, much worse. Much, much worse. But it didn't. Cremators are scary dudes, though. That is for sure. All righty, what we are gonna do is probably try and loop a little because that's uh, how you know you're doing well, having fun. Oh, okay, well that was a lucky, uh, lucky break. Especially now we're gonna loop a little. One health up every time we kill an enemy. And the nice thing about that, like, I was going for the telescopic sight because it's fun. 1% chance to insta-kill an enemy, that's not that good, but it's, uh, fun. Especially with glass, it's kinda terrible. But, uh, it's fun. Which is all I care about. But then I ended up with infusion because I missed my timing ever so slightly. And the rest is history. Oh. Okay, we're just not going to make any stupid mistakes with especially Elder Lemurians. They will mess me up. Hardcore. 519, that's not so bad. Alright. They will mess me up. I don't like being messed up. So this is the golden chest layout. Which is actually a little more annoying to navigate and deal with in a few ways. Let's not die. Because, like, this is here, for example. That's one thing that I don't like. Faster money gain. Yeah, mostly I mean I don't mess with elite ones now. Uh, but uh, I shouldn't mess with the normal ones either. That is also a silly and probably deadly decision. I'm going to make anyway. All right, Monster Tooth is excellent. The more I get, the merrier. I think I have three now? Two. Okay. Two's fine, too. Is it down here? No. I will find you, teleporter. I will destroy you. That's mostly how I feel. Yeah, then you take all the damage, and I get all the credit. Lots of loots here. Oh my gosh. 
Like I said, lots of loots here. And I'm pretty pleased about that. Okay, I mean, that gives me a little bit of flight. Should mean I can get to the golden chest, actually. So, the teleporter should be down here. And there it is. I don't think I'm going to get enough money for the golden chest, so it doesn't really matter. That, yeah, sure, I should be able to uh, get to it now. That does not help me at all. I'm taking a lot of damage. Okay, that'll kill you. Monster Tooth will keep me alive. That's all that I need. I guess more chance for uh, Ukulele to activate since I got another one. Get that done. Uh, there it is. Should buy that now so I don't accidentally leave when I don't want to. Another Monster Tooth never, uh, never hurt. Except the lag it can create if you have enough of them. Ah! I almost let myself die there. That would have been a hideous mistake. Okay. Just trying to keep my charge field existing when possible. Sometimes that isn't possible, but uh, I think if I can keep my charge field up, ain't nothing gonna bring me down. Ain't not one thing gonna bring me down. Alrighty. So like I said before, uh, respawn at 40% health and invincibility for a little bit is really not that good. I mean, it can, it, it can make it so you don't lose, but... You know. Crit specs. 10% chance to do uh, double damage, I believe it is. The chance, not the double damage, because it literally says double damage. Okay. Why you gotta do that, guys? Why you gotta be over there? Okay, I will get this. Darn. I was uh, more after that crowbar. Probably have at least one by now. Maybe I don't, though. I can't even tell. More loot over here, so I'm getting more loot. I'm also flying. Flying with the eagles. Nah, man. We get hit for enough health, we will drop a poison trap. Damage enemies, poison them a little. Just a little, though. Another monster tooth. Man, should have gone with one of the larger chests. I know there was another one. Oh well, it's fine. Pointless to use my use item now. Because I'm not going to be able to afford it by the end of the level. But next level I use it right at the start so it has the minimum cost possible for it. And I should be okay. Bye by the end. No smart shoppers is all, like obviously going to hurt me a little bit there. Make purchases difficult, but... Uh, I can manage. I can work with that. Oh, that actually worked too. Really? Alright, fine. Play like that if you want to. <clears throat> Deads. I guess everyone's down here. Rest of the party. Seems so. Loop a little bit for the funds. Always loop a little bit for the funds. That's a really sucky location to have that. However. Things don't always work out conveniently. Come on, I want to kill you, not have you living on underground. There's a difference. Oops. That hurt a little bit. A little bit being quite a lot. That's just a normal magworm. Should get shredded by my charge field as it did. Burning witness. Alright, increase speed and uh, track fire after killing an enemy for a little while. That's pretty good. 
Having this photon jetpack sure doesn't hurt. Makes my maneuvering and navigability no bad. No bad at all. Alright, guess I'm not into that. Rusty Blade's really good though, for Commando with FMJ. FMJ is just really good. How about that? Does that sound good? I think that sounds good. Okay. We're on the hunt. On the hunt for the teleports. Alright, you're gonna give me trouble, I can already tell. So I'm just gonna murder you now. Why is this one cheaper? Weird. But I definitely want an attack speed up. Vagrant does not hurt. Uh, but it has to come the right way. 56 Leaf Clover is a chance for a um, an elite enemy to drop another, or to drop an item. Which is pretty excellent. Oh! That hurts! That hurts, run away! Don't respawn. No respawn. Search and destroy. Oh my god. You and I are not going to get along. Oh! Ooh, it's more chopper. Well, that's awesome. Smart chopper increases my money gain. Which is kind of a big deal right now. Because I have some money issues. Oh boy, it's my favorite. This thing's probably going to murder my face. In case you were wondering. Alright. So far, so good. Just because of my charge field being amazing. Okay, it's dead. Got me some snake eyes if ever I play any um, grinds again. Okay, increase my movement speed. Sounds like a nice high priority for me. Okay, uh, dodge chance sounds like a priority as well. Oh my. Certainly earn this. Oh, I hate that. It hurts. Okay, they're just gonna get themselves killed immediately. Yeah, no. But sticky bomb's good. Chance to stick an enemy with a bomb when you hit. Does a bunch of damage. Hits for a little bit of area. Another ATG missile, increased chance, probably not increased damage. Another goat hoof, more movement speed. Charge field staying intense. These dudes all just dead. They will all dead. Okay, I'll take two crit chance increases. Are there more items? Yeah, there are. Another photon jetpack just increases the amount of time I can fly with it. That's pretty cool. 729? Yeah, easy. Any day. Meat nugget. Alright, so I killed everything. Wow, awesome. Sadly, I can't see the die. So I can't see for sure how much crit chance increase I have. But it's not like I have a wicked ring. So it's not quite as uh, compelling to improve. I'm going back up top. And I'm going to loop two-ish more levels, maybe? Yeah. I like the idea of doing the second and third, but not the fourth. Just because the fourth level is too stressful, man. Having this extra flight from a second photon jetpack is pretty sweet. Don't get that very often. Alright, there was a chest down there, and then there was the one I spawned. Unstable watch does not... does not a happy me make. And honestly, mortar tube not really either. But that's fine. Could have been a boat. 
All right, no problem. Away we go. God, that cooldown feels like it's forever. But we're ready to go and I just need to get there. Okay, taking your time, Commando. <clears throat> Taking your time. Don't think there's anything else for me to do. Besides leave, since I don't really want to play the shrine more. Risk silly things, like losing all of that crit that I might not even have, really. We should take this money into the next level. Start with it, not that it matters. Doesn't help us at all. We already have two piggy banks as well, so it's easy to gain money slowly. If that's what I'm into. Oh, hello. Only one infusion this time, so... Kills are not quite as helpful as, uh... And yes, I know I should be using my use item. Not quite as helpful as when we have two infusions, for example. Alright. We have one clover, which is pretty good. Another wisp, I guess a higher chance for an explosion. Cool with me. Okay. Teleporter. Gonna be close. Goat hoof, uh yeah, goat hoof can happen. Higher jump. Oh, freaking kidding me. Okay, so what needs to happen is charge field needs to build. That way we can deal with an overloading magma worm. That's all. Alien head now, that's amazing. 25% cooldown reduction for all skills. That is quite helpful. Oh my god, the procs that just happened. Oh, don't do that, me. We have lessons that we'd like to not learn the hard way. That's how I feel right now. Really? Another life savings? Is that how you spend your time, game? Giving me life savings? Your idea of fun is sickening. Ah, oh, I lost my chance. Oh, wow, I just got killed. Alright then, uh, like, uh, you know, you've just been shown, don't give the game the chance to kill you, because it will. But I did get more crit specs, so that's, uh, that's good. I have no more extra life. Oh boy. Well, let's work on things. Oh, stop spawning up here. <clears throat> Alright, fine. Spawn all the way over yonder. See if I care. Fire shield, pretty good with uh, glass. Retaliatory damage if you take enough damage. And so, uh, yeah. Get recce game is how I feel that would work. I'm just gonna leave. One more level, and then we'll go for the final level. If I remember to hit Y instead, and Y being triangle, because I don't use an Xbox controller. Uh, this is the one with... yeah... Closed bottom? No, open bottom. Okay, I like that. You and I will get along well. Ah! Jump! Don't die. Instead of dying, don't die. See? Easy peasy. Vile, more health regen. I like it. Why am I farming? Don't farm. Farming is for the evil. Oh hey, Guardian's Heart. That's good. 60 health shield. 
can't take any other damage until it is fully depleted. So uh, even if I take 70 damage and I only have one left on the shield, it will take all of that damage and none of my health will be removed. That's pretty good. Okay. Dang. Okay, 8% health up. Uh, we're not quite at a health where that's important, but before long, that would have been good. Still, increases my max health by 8% of what it currently is. Teleporter is up here no matter what. I found it. This is the no acrid level. Another vagrant. I'm okay with that. What do I need all this knockback for? Oh god, don't get vagrantified. Okay. Don't don't do it. Me. Okay, I don't really benefit from that item at all, as I have no drones whatsoever. Mattis's nozzle is actually good. But I'm gonna not be taking that because I'm gonna take it. It also has like the shortest cooldown in history. So uh, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice, man. Alright. Yep, I know. Lost my charge field, no big deal. Oh, I missed the other alien head. That does stack. For even more cooldown reduction. Which is wild. Sadly, I missed it. Oh my god, though. The on-hit stuff happening right now. Especially as I keep getting these ATG Missile Mark 1 drops. I just get it so often that I'm doing insane damage with it. Not often you can actually base your whole build around an ATG Missile Mark 1. If you want to. If that's like my goal right now, why not? Why not? Because I constantly spawn missiles and mortars and everything. Everything explosive. Kind of like sugar and spice and everything nice, but... Missiles and mortars and everything explosive. Okay, are they all here? No. Game doesn't know what it's talking about with how many enemies are alive. Which I guess I shouldn't expect. Because it's been weird all just like playing around. Oh, okay, now you're all dead. Why not? Okay. To the final level. Much less health than last time, I believe. That'll be fun. Now we have our nematocyst nozzle available, which is good, quite good. Lots of flight from these photon jetpacks. This is where you get hand D if you're interested. Right there. Wow, terrible. But I mean, it's not like I need better. I don't really need anything from, well, okay, there are other items that I would like more. But the one I had, and one I have the option to take again now, useless. So I'm not really inclined to do that. Because look how often I can use this. Sadly, it apparently does very little damage. But then again, I have all these missiles. And I will, I will uh, use them wisely. All right, to the final boss we go. And, you know, any loot that I see along the way. Coming back? Good. Sure, I'll take another bustling fungus. If I feel like sitting still for two seconds. Thallium, damage in slow enemies over time. More crit, why not? I think that's my third. Yes, that, that should be my third, what it looks like. Alright, that was a little scary. And again, no it wasn't. 
Can I fly up here? Yes. 8% health up again. Why not? No drones for me today. Rusty jetpack. Hyper Threader. Oh, that's the item I wanted. Hyper Threader with the commando is like the best thing. Because as you just keep attacking, and attack quickly especially, you just have this constant flow of lasers. And that's just a 40% damage up. Oh, Hyper Threader plus Commando. So good. And just so satisfying. Now, who's gonna hurt? Okay, we're good. Bike strip, really? However, Hyper Threader. So hype. Why well, it's called the Hyper Threader. Because it's just so hype. That allows you to spread your attacks to other targets as well. Which is amazing. I almost feel bad not buying drones because it's so affordable at this point. How did I end up with so much money with only one smart shopper? I guess this run is longer than the one with the Huntress, but I had two or three smart shoppers. And less damage output. I don't freaking know, man. But let's do it. Something died for no reason, basically. Alright. Oh my god. Sorry, Providence, you're just gonna die. Seems that Thallium pierces him. Pierces him heavily. Something else I do pierces him heavily. Oh yeah, you know, I probably don't want to be in that. Oh, alright. Oh, that attack is so good. Suppressing fire. Suppressive fire. Whatever, man. It's too good against Providence right now. Ah, you are stronger than you look. With the wrong then. Oh, man. My favorite. Oh, thanks for the key card, dudes. Nope, I should not have just taken that and stood there. Been like, yeah, sure. Okay. Shouldn't have used that while he was all busy being shielded and stuff. But I should get these small damage over time things happening. Alright. Ah, run away. Alright. Easy peasy. Dude, I love this setup. I wish I could have gotten Hyper Threader earlier just because. And I got a key card from that too. Too bad I'm stuck here. I don't have a... I don't have a uh, career marble or anything like that to tunnel out and my movement ability doesn't allow me to go through walls or anything. So he left with everything but his humanity. Have I won as the commando before? I don't even know anymore. That was a bunch of fun. Next run probably won't be uh, just glass if it has glass at all. It might do the glass um, kin and honor thing. Because that sounds insane. So I might do that. But anyway. Of course it's a new hi. Always is. I hope you enjoyed the episode, though. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.